Hi, I'm Dinesh Sharma. I'm electrophysiologist with NCH Healthcare System. Atrial fibrillation is arrhythmia of upper chambers of the heart, where the heart has disorganized activity. What it leads to is increased risk of stroke, symptoms such as weakness, fatigue, shortness of breath or palpitations. In some patients, it can also cause heart failure. There are treatments available for atrial fibrillation. The most important is to decrease the risk of stroke, and we do that by prescribing blood thinners. There are medications called antiarrhythmic medications to keep the heart in organized rhythm. With the presence of technology, the catheter ablation is the most effective way of treating atrial fibrillation. And again, with technology, the procedure has become very, very safe. The risk of major complication is now less than 1%. If somebody has atrial fibrillation, which is if they go in and out of uh, arrhythmia, it's called paroxysmal, then the success is up to 80%. If they stay in arrhythmia all the times, it's called persistent atrial fibrillation, and success in those situations is around 60 to 70%. So therefore, in atrial fibrillation, we try to treat patients early on to have good long-term uh, success rate. Thanks for watching.